Right. Frankenmuth, Michigan. Frank, do you know how this town's pronounced, actually? No. Nope. Frankenmuth, Frankenmuth. You ever played it before? No. Nope. No? First time? Uh-huh. Seemed like a good yeah. crowd, though. Very good crowd. How do you choose your set list for a show like this? Well, most of the stuff is sort of dictated by the by the fact that i got to play all the hits, of course, yeah. which I do. Um, and then, yeah, you know, we swap stuff around over the... Over the years, kind of just found tunes that that uh, that work uh, more or less wherever you are. Um, it also depends on the length of the show. Mm-hmm. Here they wanted 75 minutes. Sometimes they only want 45 or 50, and then basically it's just the hits. But the uh, the other material that I do that's non-monkey material, I tend to it tends to be songs that either um, had some role, played some role in my life, like. I do one of the tunes that was my audition piece for the Monkees, Chuck the, Berry yeah, tune. Chuck Berry tune, yeah. And um, we didn't do it today, but you, sometimes I do Good Morning, Good Morning by the Beatles because I was at yeah. the session. Oh, were you really? So, so I tell the story of being at the session at Abbey Road Studios, and then I sing the song. So. No, would you mind telling that story right now? That's fine. I didn't know that. Well, that's the story. I mean, oh, I, just there. I was invited to, to go to the... Were you singing on it or anything No, like no, that? no, no. I was just, just invited out, by, the, with the by Paul and... Because uh, I'd met him, and uh, I went to the uh, went to a session, and that happened to be the session. So I do that song, and cool. So I t- tend, like I say, the non-monkey material tends to be stuff that has a story behind it. Mm-hmm. Talking here with Mickey Dolans, you just heard some Beatles. Good morning, good morning. I want to talk about the monkeys. I know at the beginning you didn't play drums, and you learned how to play drums for the monkeys. How did that all like? Did they just just want actors for the band or something like that? No, it was a little more. Uh, a little more uh, <clears throat> complicated than that. Um, the the, uh, the producers, you know, uh, it was cast a lot like you would cast a musical. Now, okay. Because I've done some musicals, and I just did Aida on Broadway. Mm-hmm. And uh, the audition process was a lot like you would audition for a musical. You they, did, they, they didn't want just actors, or they would have hired just actors. You had to be able to play. Okay. I played guitar. Okay. Chuck Berry, too. Yeah, as you said. Um, you had to be able to sing. You had to be able to improvise. They were it was heavy on improvisational skills um, and acting, and a, you know a variety, a full kind of full range of, of talents. Mm-hmm. Um, so they must have had even at the beginning. They must have had in in the in the back of their minds that <clears throat> with any luck we would be able to sing and play together. Yeah. And um, and lo and behold, I mean that is indeed what happened because. It, uh, you know, I was cast as the drummer. I, ha- I was a guitar player, but so I knew enough about music, and I had about a year to, to learn and, and to practice before we went on the road. Um, but it was unusual. It was, you know, a very unusual, you know, convergence coming together of all these different forces. Because, you know, in, in the final analysis, the Monkees was this television show about this imaginary band that, mm-hmm. that didn't really exist, and to some degree, it still doesn't accept in the context of that television show. So us going out on the road and actually playing and be, being a band, I've often equated it to someone like, you know, George Clooney starting to perform ER yeah. operations, you know, yeah. to, <laughs> uh, with a year's training. Um, uh, but but like I say, they, they, they didn't just cast actors. They clearly had, you know, in mind um, that it was going to, you know, we were going to go on the road and, and play. Mm-hmm. You mentioned playing guitar and, and drums as well. What do you pick up when you jam? What instrument do you Gu- usually... Guitar. Yeah? Do you still yeah. write songs too? Yes, I do. Anything that... you know? Like Nothing you would have heard uh, no. uh, recently. Uh, I had one of the, uh, a big hit with the Monkees, uh, a song called uh, Randy Skousket uh, uh, in England um, about my experiences over there. Mm-hmm. Um, I do write. Funnily enough, when I write, I write country tunes. Oh, really? I don't know why. Yeah. My mom was from Texas. Music? Maybe that's maybe that's why. Possibly. Do you listen to a lot of country music? Too? No, what do you I listen don't. to? I don't. Uh, I listen to standards. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I listen to, uh, uh, you know, Michael Bublé and Diana Krall and, and Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles. Oh, I love the Beatles. Um, let's play another song. What do you want to hear? One of your tunes? Maybe another song? It's up to you. Oh, um, we, well, let's play another Beatle tune. Let's play Day in the Life. Talking to you with Mickey Dolans. You just heard some more stuff off Sergeant Pepper, A Day in the Life. Um, wanted to talk about the downloading of music. I'm not sure how it... How, do you download music? Do I? Yeah. Are you into not that whole really. thing now? No, no, I'm not. I, um, I, don't, I, I don't tend to listen to music uh, except as that kind of background. Um, and, like, and when I do, it tends to be classical or standards. 
I will download and, and uh, you know, buy, buy uh, music if I'm researching something or if I'm learning a new tune or if I'm, you know, working on a project that I need to have to have music, uh, mm-hmm. you know. But it's more f- for my work than, than anything else. Do you think we're going to get rid of albums? I mean, it seems to be people, you know, just download a song and, oh, yeah. and they get it for themselves and we're not going to have albums or CDs or the artwork and all the stuff that goes into it anymore five, 15 years down the road. Yeah, I think that's probably true. I think that the actual physical physical thing may <clears throat> may become a thing of the past or just very special releases, you know, stuff like, you know, I, I heard someone saying that they wanted to bring back the large packaging so that you could have, you know, the artwork and some of the, the ancillary stuff. But I think it would only be probably the big, big groups, big acts that... Mm-hmm could afford it because yeah I think it probably is the end of um, and I think it goes for probably eventually movies as well and yeah and stuff it'll it'll be all it'll all be downloaded and uh, but then on the other hand you'll also it it'll be supplanted because you will still get artwork and you will still get visual stuff but it also will be on the, the internet computer, and, yeah. and on the computer and and you'll um be able to download the photos and print them out and mm-hmm. download them, which you can do now, and you know have your own kind of private collection. But as far as selling, I don't know, selling a retail object, you know, in a in in Tower Records, I uh, I don't know. I think I think you may be right. That may yeah, be. scary. Yeah. Uh, switch topics. You mentioned musical before. You got a new musical coming out. Yes, I'm going to be doing a, a, a musical, a revival of a show called Pippin, uh, a show that was originally in the '70s, and I'm playing King Charlemagne. In that nice musical comedy, yeah. Where's that happening? New York. In, yeah, it's in the New York area. Yeah. And you're going to that when? When is that all? Next, I start happen? next week. Start just flat out next week or yeah. rehearsals? Rehearsals. Oh, no, okay. rehearsals next just going to throw you on stage. Uh, let's play another song. What do you want to hear? Oh, you know what I'd like to hear? If you have it, um, another. I was a big fan of Van Morrison, and a song that he did uh, it was the ba- it was the flip side of Gloria. It's called Baby, Please Don't Go. Uh, we just think five questions, five quick questions, one word answers. iPod or CDs. The city. Lennon or McCartney? McCartney. Alcohol or marijuana? Alcohol. Song you've written you're most proud of? It's my life. In one word, the monkeys. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> First I'm thing sure, I'm not sure I'm the person to ask. Probably <laughs> one of the fans is the better person <laughs> to ask than the monkeys. One word, the monkeys. Uh, funny. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank really you. Really appreciate man. it. Thank you. One song to close us out. What do you want to hear? Um, let's think of another one that was a big influence. I don't want to do another Beatle one. <laughs> I, I mean, you could just play Beatles all day long, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, there was something else that was that had a big influence. Oh, you know what, Lenny Welch? Since I fell for you. <laughs> 